Hello once again, I'm Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we will see part five of our five part cable replacement project video taking place at the Maritex Caves in Kansas City. Our participating utility is Kansas City Power and Light, and this video series is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now what you see here is the linemen are approaching open switches at the top of the distribution pole. What we're going to see today is a process called running the tops. Now the first task of running the tops involves shaping the arresters that are going to be attached to these switches. You see he's going to shape the arrestor lead wire there and strip back part of it so he can make a nice connection into the switch. He's going to next grab what is officially called a hotline clamp, but known in the industry as a pelican. And you're going to see in a second here where he puts his thumb, you'll see how those jaws can clamp together. That's where it gets its name pelican. And next up, they'll use some wire brushes to clean off both the front and back surfaces of these switch lugs or plates where they're going to connect into the switch. Add a little bit of deoxy onto those plates so the connection doesn't oxidize on them. Now he's going to grab what's called a jumper or a top. And this uh, makes the connection between the switch and the line coming in. You see here he's going to attach that jumper to this switch plate. And notice how he's working on the middle phase here, but they always try to keep outside the phase. And also notice the line protectors and the gloves. These are energized lines. Next he'll attach a fault indicator. Clamp it on one per jumper. Clamp that right on the jumper. And then they're going to use what are called wedge connectors to form the connection between the line and the jumper. And they're actually called beat on wedge connectors because as you can see here's a better picture of that wedge connector. Notice also how he's uh, keeping constant contact with the jumper as he's working on this. He's going to use a hammer to beat that wedge connector on also. Also notice he's working outside the phase and he's wearing gloves and now he's just clipping off the end of this jumper. And now remember those pelicans or hotline clamps that we saw earlier? He's now connecting those to the switches. You see there's a little pin on the switch that he connects to. Tighten them down and you see the jaws of the pelican closing. Secure, tighten and secure the connections between the arresters and the switch. Now he's going to install what's called a dropout wire from the arrestor down to full ground. See him connect it right here down to a wire ground attached to the pole. And the last task is to install some cable tags for identification of the new cables. And that allows them to go up with a switch stick and close each of these switches. One by one he's going to close all three switches which will then allow this pole to be energized, the cables to be energized to send power down to Maritex Caves. And so with that, you have seen our five-part video series on a cable replacement project at Maritex Caves. To remind you, part one was bringing a cable up to the distribution pole and also sending a cable down into Maritex Caves. The cables in the foreground are going up to the pole. The cables that he's sending down to the caves then get pulled into the caves 80 feet underground into a cubicle that is going to house a new dielectric switch which we see here with all the new terminations onto that switch. Next we're going to go back above ground and here's the enclosure where there are two sets of three cables each. One goes up to the pole, one goes down into the caves. Make all those connections and then go back up on the pole making all your terminations on the pole and then opening up the switches Then come back later with a switch stick and close all the switches energizing the cable. So now you have seen all five parts of our cable replacement video. 
Our participating utility was Kansas City Power and Light. This video series was sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you so much for watching.